Stoicism is an ancient Greek philosophy that encourages those who learn it and practice it to do and be better, thus improving our lives. It teaches us to control what we can and to accept what we cannot. Our own emotions are ultimately under our control. And practicing emotional control is a powerful way to nurture our relationships. Oftentimes, the inevitable conflicts that arise throughout a relationship can corrode the foundation of those relationships if they are not dealt with gracefully. Stoicism teaches us how to handle those conflicts gracefully. Stoic core principles cover a wide range of topics through life. Today, I want to talk about three that are relevant to our relationships. If you want to learn more core principles, I left a link to an amazing source of Stoic knowledge in the description. The first core principle I want to talk about is eliminating toxic emotions. Emotions like anger, anxiety, fear, envy. We all have them within us. And we all also have the capacity to practice rising above them. Doing so will drastically improve the overall quality of our lives and especially our relationships. The second is we are and must remain a unified self, meaning that we are responsible for our emotions and our actions, no matter how much it seems that we were driven to them by external forces. If we go through life practicing blame and deflection, then that's what we'll be really good at, never really truly growing as people never learning from our mistakes, doomed to repeat them over and over. In relationships, we're supposed to help each other grow. And we can't do that if we ourselves are always looking for an external reason for our own mistakes. The third principle is our personal development is bound up in the cooperation with others. Meaning that if you want to improve, an excellent way to do that is to help others improve. If you want happiness, help others to be happy. If you want love, then give love to others. If you want compassion, then practice compassion toward others. This is a natural law of the universe and is frequently referred to as karma. You reap what you sow is another example of this wisdom. And in la kek a la kein is a Mayan greeting, which means I am you and you are me. If I love and respect you, then I love and respect myself. These principles, when integrated and practiced in our lives, have enormous potential to improve our relationships, whether it be our significant other, our family members, our friends, coworkers, or acquaintances, all of our relationships will benefit. I know that for me, anytime I've had those negative emotions and then acted upon them, it has only ever made the situation worse. I think a great metaphor for this is the mosquito bite. You know, you get a mosquito bite, it itches and you scratch it, making it worse. You know, you scratch your skin raw. Whereas if you had resisted the urge to scratch, the itch would have eventually gone away and the healing process would have been a lot shorter. Amor Fati, coined by Nietzsche, means love of fate and is all about the very stoic practice of seeing events in your life as opportunities for growth. Something happens or somebody does something to you that would have in the past made you feel a negative emotion, then you can see it as an opportunity to practice emotional resilience. If you don't have any happiness in your life or love or compassion in your life, instead of seeing it as an unfair fate, then you can see it as an opportunity to practice giving those things to others. The famous Stoic Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius said, a blazing fire makes flame and brightness out of everything that's thrown into it. In other words, spark the flame of self-improvement in your life and start looking for the opportunity to grow in every situation that life throws at you. Another historically significant Stoic Epictetus said, Do not wish for things to happen the way you want them to. Rather, wish that what happens happen the way it happens, and then you will be happy. It is what it is, in other words. If you look for the good in the bad, then you ultimately transmute the bad into the good. Stoics tend to live this advice. And as I move forward on my own journey of self-improvement, I can feel it enhancing my perspectives in real time. 
And I know that if I just keep up the hard work of implementing these stoic practices in my life, that I will eventually become a shining example of why they are beneficial. I hope that with this video, I have encouraged you to consider implementing these stoic practices into your own life. If I have, please let me know down in the comments. That would make my friggin' day. No matter what happens in life, it's up to us to look for the good in it and to keep moving forward. If we allow ourselves to sink into the negative aspects of our humanity, our relationships will ultimately suffer the consequences. I hope that this video helps you in your relationships. I know it's helping me in mine to learn and to talk about these topics. I know that myself and those close to me will be much better off if I can continue to build the discipline it takes to implement these practices in my life long term. That's it for day 21 of me challenging myself to post a video every single day. If you got value out of this video, let me know in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe, click the bell to be notified when I post my videos. I hope you have a great day or night, whichever it may be. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.